In this video, I'm going to chat with you about word chains and how to use them in your phonics instruction. Hi, I'm Angela Griffith and I help teachers to create positive literacy experiences for the students in their classrooms. Word chains are a great way to teach phonics because they provide a concrete way for students to understand the relationship between letters and sounds. Sometimes word chains are called word ladders, so they're basically words that differ by one phoneme or one sound. By starting with a word that students already know, such as cat, and then having them to create new words by switching out one letter or one phoneme at a time, they begin to see how small changes can create completely new words. With this activity, they're actually practicing blending, segmenting, and phoneme manipulation all at the same time. So let's see what this will look like in action. You can do this one of two ways. You can use letter cards to build words. Just prepare the letter cards that you need in advance. Or sometimes when I haven't done that, I like to use a whiteboard and a dry erase marker. That way I can erase and add the letters as needed. We're going to begin with the word I said before, cat. So the students will read the word and then I would change the A in the middle of the word to the letter O. This will create the word cot then the students will read it. Next, I would change the C at the beginning of the word to the letter H. This would create the word hot. Then next, I would change the T at the end to the letter P to create the word hop. The fantastic thing about word chains is that you can create as many words as you want to or only create a few if your students are new to this. Word chains are a great way to teach phonics because they help students to understand the relationship between written and spoken words. By seeing the words in a visual format, students can better understand how words are pronounced and how they are spelled. So, do you use word chaining in your classroom? Let me know in the comments below. See you guys in the next video.